me hear you say, please. Let me hear you say, please. Hello. Um, I would say good morning, but I doubt I'm gonna have this up. Um, in the morning. Hopefully, I can have it up tonight. Um, but I have finished my fast. Um, I know this is super quick because I just put out the move-in day video. If you I watched it till the end, um, you may have heard that I was doing a 14-day lemonade challenge. Um, but I minimized that to seven days. Maybe I will try to do that again when I have like some vitamins and everything that can give me those nutrients and everything. Um, because I wasn't taking any vitamins like at all during the fast like i just got these vitamins yesterday so i just started taking these today um just finished my fast this is day eight literally because it's the eighth day of august um but yeah so just to start talking about my fast i guess um so i started on the first i made the lemonade um that morning that first morning i didn't record daily um because i was gonna do like a every two days type thing on like the second day that's when i decided i was gonna minimize it to seven days so i was like well i'll just do a big video when i finish because i really wanted to commit to it and finish and not post a video and i didn't finish you know so I will post um, the video of me making the lemonade because I just recently made some um, yesterday. Um, so I recorded myself doing that. I still have that whole gallon in there because I haven't finished it. Um, so I'm gonna be drinking that today and like in the mornings because since I'm off of the fast, I'm gonna be doing intermittent fasting and intermittent, I don't know. I say intermittent, so. But I'm gonna be doing that so today i'm i'm actually still kind of on the fast like i haven't eaten anything um it's 10 50 um and i'm not eating until one so and i'm about to go to work i have to work at 12 30 so if i'm hungry at one i probably will go ahead and eat i have some watermelon so i'm probably gonna eat the watermelon first and then i made me some soup because i am a little sick and i didn't want to eat too heavy um so i made some soup y'all i've been craving so much food oh my gosh my friend was over here because you know i just moved in we were like just walking around the building and they ordered food because i don't have any food once i moved in i didn't buy anything but lemons and the stuff that i needed so i don't have any food in here well i do now i bought some stuff but they were hungry, so they ordered like Wendy's and Zaxby's. And I was like, <laughs> but I really want a burger. Like the Zaxby's, man, I don't really like chicken too, too much, but a burger. My mouth was watering. I wanted to bite the burger out of my friend. I wanted to take it out of her hand. And she was like, ain't nobody gonna know. It's just gonna be between us. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm gonna be so sick. I'm gonna be so mad at myself if I eat your burger. Like, but I didn't eat it. I didn't eat it. Um, so the reason I did the fast, of course, people do um, the lemonade challenge for like weight loss and everything like that, but I definitely did it to get my mentality right, get closer to God. like and just commit to something too. Like, I definitely feel like I have shown myself, shown God that I can get through stuff and he's shown me that he can help me to get through things. So that was super, it's super good for me. Like, I definitely don't wanna go back to any bad habits, eating, eat bad eating habits because I did lose some weight. I did lose some weight during this challenge. And so I do want to keep that journey going because I do want to lose weight. I do want to get rid of my gut that I have. So that was a benefit as well. But just getting through this week was a challenge to me. Like it was showing me, you can do this. Like you can commit to something, you can get through stuff. 
and just, you know, keep working that stuff and finishing, get to a goal. Okay. I will show my before and after because I did do that because this was somewhat of a weight thing just to boost me into my weight loss journey because I have been like last year and everything I was trying to lose weight up until my birthday which was in June I was trying to lose weight for my trip I went to Florida but I didn't really get to my goal I was trying to do a fast before then couldn't finish the fast and so that's why now I was like I have to do this I have to finish this so once I moved out of my mom's house with I was like okay I'm gonna do this I'm not gonna buy no food because that's the only way I could do it I couldn't have any food here with me I was able to go out with friends and like like I said sit with them while they're eating and not be not have to eat with them I just drank my lemonade drank my water and just stay hydrated stay I just like I wasn't really hungry like it was just cravings like like I just wanted to I just wanted to eat and I just needed to show myself you don't have to eat like when I'm sad or when I'm bored you don't have to eat find something else to do you know so that was like the purpose of me doing that. That's why I wanted to do that fast now while I wasn't taking classes, while I wasn't doing anything. I'm just, I'm really just sitting here for three weeks. So I was like, hey, why not do a week of this fast? Why not go ahead and get stuff rolling? And now I have two more weeks until school starts and I can work out, I have a gym downstairs 24 seven so I can get started on that. So. I will show you guys my before and after right I guess I'll do it right here um so I will show y'all that well it should be there now or was there I don't know but I lost 10 pounds so that's wonderful I just truly don't see it my if you guys do decide to do this challenge on your own definitely make sure you have all of the things you need for it and definitely make sure you have a good support system and everything like that because i know on that second day it wasn't even that i was hungry after i had looked on google at work and was just like is lemonade challenge healthy like it was like it hasn't been proven like scientifically like i was like um so i'm really depriving myself of certain stuff like okay okay so i was like kind of iffy on it but i still wanted to finish it like i didn't want to just give up on it so that's why i took it down to a week instead of two um but definitely make sure you have a good mindset going into this you can't start it on a bad mindset at all because that is how i was when i was trying to lose weight for my birthday like I was just like, I just need to lose this weight. Like, da, 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 da. like you definitely still want to be happy with yourself and your body instead of just trying to change yourself quick, fast, and in a hurry because it's not going to happen quick, fast, and in a hurry. Like, because with this fast, you are depriving yourself of certain things. Like, it's not always just about your weight. Like, it's changing your bones, your everything, like your intake of water and how you how your body processes things like it's changing that so you definitely want to think about all of that as far as how you feel during this fast i i don't think i was drinking enough of my water and juice just um as far as like not feeling hungry not feeling like lightheaded or something because i did have times to where like if i stood up too fast it was like whoa you know, so you definitely have to make sure you drink lots of your water, lots of your juice. I and didn't put this in the video when I was making the lemonade, but you know, everyone does take smooth move, smooth move, however. I didn't buy that um, just because it wasn't in the store I was in. So I ended up getting this cleansing kit I didn't take all of these, as you can hear, because it is for 14 days, because I was going to do 14 days. Um, but it has a colon cleanse as like the nighttime one that you take. And then 
I didn't get the chance to take any of the top two, but I probably will like do like a 10 day cleanse or something so I can take all of them because I took it probably two or three times out of this seven day challenge because towards the end, I started being able to go on my own. Like it was just going, um, but the colon cleanse definitely, I took it, I always took it kind of late because I was staying up late for some reason. So like 10, 11 o'clock and then I would go to sleep. So once I woke up, I had to go to the restroom. So that definitely helped with that. And since I was, since I did get sick, I was taking this green tea as well just to help with my cold. Um, as far as the cold, I think my immune system was a little down and I do think that's because I wasn't taking any vitamins or anything. So I did catch a cold. Probably insert the video of me doing the um, juice now. So go watch that. Alrighty, so you are gonna need a lemon squeezer, your red cayenne pepper, and of course your lemons. I only use four for this. Your gallon of water, maple syrup by Spring Tree. I ordered on Amazon. This is one half teaspoon, one cup, and of course your knife to cut your lemons. So let's get started. I rolled out my lemons um, on my stove just so I didn't dye my countertop because it was trying to do that. I just got me a cutting board, so as you can see, I was trying not to cut the counter. Um, so you just get started squeezing out your lemon juice. Um, yeah. Alrighty, so you just want to go ahead and squeeze all of your lemons out. Um, if you do need to clean your lemon, um, squeezer, which I'm doing now, I just use my knife to make sure I got all the juices out and it didn't get clogged up in the squeezer. Here we are. We are finally finished with our juice. Um, we can go ahead and get our gallon of water out and we are going to need to pour some of that water out to make room for the lemon juice and the maple syrup. So I got my cup and I just poured, um about a full cup of that out and just poured that out and now we're going to measure out one cup of the lemon juice my four lemons surprisingly made exactly one cup so as you can see i was very excited for that <laughs> so you just go ahead and pour that in um my measuring cup is like terrible because it doesn't have the thing to help pour stuff in easy um, you're about to see me mess up with this maple syrup, but you're going to get one full cup of that as well and pour that into your lemonade. <laughs> so, um, it's okay that some of it wasted out. It still turned out fine. So now we're going to get some cayenne pepper. I did not even use the whole one half teaspoon as you can see because the cayenne pepper is spicy and it did burn my throat in my first batch of the lemonade that I made so I made sure not to put too much for my next few so you just go ahead and pour that in there and now we're all done just gotta shake it up shake 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 so I just poured this lemonade into my water bottle throughout the day since I didn't really go to many places besides work and turned out just fine so there we go we're all done all right guys thank you for watching my video um i am headed to work so um i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys do decide to do a challenge of your own and just challenge yourself i probably will do another challenge maybe not as strict and just a lot i, I may do like a juice challenge but i will have to get a blender for that um but yeah so definitely comment below um what challenge you think i should do next i am all for it um if you want to know about my hair i use um carol's daughter to wash and shampoo and then i use some it was some type of curl pudding that i found from like tribe tribal something but i don't have a lot of stuff right now since i just moved um i definitely have to buy some more hair products but i definitely love that carol's daughter it makes it so soft and just wonderful easy to comb through everything but so thank you guys for watching love you bye